have you ever gotten the random urge to just get your life together at a particular time of the night? So currently it is 9.30 p.m. in Lithuania and I want to do my hair. As you can see, I look... Yes, my hair has not been washed for at least a week and I cannot postpone it anymore because I'm like, I'm tired of looking like my problems. So I'm trying to not look at my problems. So on my to-do list, we have wash my hair, do my skincare, and I'm gonna do my nails. So I was delusional enough to get myself a nail kit thinking I can be able to do nails because why not? So you're going to witness this transformation from this to we'll see. <laughs> we shall see. So for the first agenda of the day, I'm going to be doing is my hair. So it's not washed. So because I have not washed it the last time I did my failed washing. <laughs> The other day, I did a real wash and go. I don't even know what I was thinking. But yo, what I did versus what I was supposed to get did not align. So for my wash day, I'm going to be using a clay wash. I like to do a clay wash just to clarify my scalp, clarify my hair, give it a fresh touch. And it feels good. And it brings my, my hair from this. You will see. Just hold up. You will see. So let's just go into the washing and mixing. I'm not going to... Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> I forgot, on my today list, I'm going to be answering some few questions I got on my Instagram stories. They're interesting. Let's give this video short and sweet. I'm not going to record the whole me mixing the clay. I have the same routine on my website. I have it on my Instagram. I have it, I don't think I have it here. I think I should put it on my YouTube. But I have it everywhere. So what I usually do to my hair, just a slight recap, it's not going to be in the video, is I mix the clay with one part vinegar like apple cider vinegar and one pot water mix 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 put it on the hair leave it for 30 minutes wash it off because i'm the laziest natural you'll ever meet i will just put some shea butter please do not judge me <laughs> i'll just put on some shea butter because to be honest like it's i am tired because i'm like oh, i want to do this i want somebody else to do this i want to do this for people but when it comes to doing it on your own i think we can all relate it's usually so exhausting okay so to, somebody asked me because i live in lithuania she wanted to know about my lithuanian language skills so i live in lithuania but my language skills of lithuania is close to non-existent i know the basics i know lovers 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 fuckers lovers readers at you prashom you know the sweets, you know, conversational status. I know that. My Lithuanian language skills are close to non-existent. I do not know Lithuanian language. I have survived here for this many years because um, most people in Lithuania do understand English. And besides, there is Google Translate. And I've been able to cope with that. Lithuania is beautiful. Lithuanian language is hard. So, I don't know. And besides, my time here is coming to an end very soon. So, I think... The little that I know is enough. So I'm going to go into the next question in relation to Lithuania. So somebody asked me places to travel to Lithuania as a solo traveler. So I have only been to a few cities. I think they are really worth traveling to. And one of the cities that I will really recommend anybody, especially because spring is coming and summer is coming, is Druskininkai. Druskininkai is Lithuania's oldest spa resort city. And I feel everybody should be able to visit that. It's so beautiful. I can't wait to like go back to Druskininkai. So that is one of the places that I would recommend. If I had not put the Druskininkai vlog on my YouTube channel, I would definitely add that, but I have put that on my TikTok. I will link that in the description box. Just a few seconds of the skin cut. It's so beautiful. The other places that I will definitely recommend is, of course, the capital city, Vilnius. Vilnius is beautiful. The nightlife is amazing. And I think it has... Um... <sighs> okay, Vilnius is beautiful. I would recommend that. Places to visit in Lithuania. The... Old Town is beautiful. Oh my god, I am obsessed with European architecture, especially the vintage old architecture. I think it's really beautiful. It is beautiful. And things to do. I have not toured uh, Vilnius in depth, so I will not suggest something that I have not toured in depth. But it is something you should explore on your own and find what works for you. Okay? So, so I have recommended the skinny Kai, Vilnius. So, the tattoo I would recommend is... Uh, Kaunas. This is where I stay. This is where I school at. So Kaunas is a small city. You can be able to do a lot of things in a day or two and visit all the historical sites in a day or two. It is very small. The activities to do are very limited, but you could explore the main street, which is called Lysos Alea. So Lysos Alea is the main street and it's 
the longest street in northern europe or in the whole of europe i would have to confirm my my historical knowledge but yeah i would definitely recommend comments like i said one or two days i think that is enough and the good thing is it's an hour and um, some few minutes away from the new city so if you take the train you can be able to come to Pana. so if you're doing a trip and you want to see most of lithuania just give yourself seven days i think you can be able to see at least two to three cities in lithuania and you'll come to love them so underrated but so beautiful anyway so the other city i would recommend to you that i have been to is alitus alitus is also a small city smaller than kaunas it is beautiful like if you enjoy architecture if you just want to be able to see all these major cities or like most of the cities so the other city that you should definitely visit is chalet how it is written is not how it's pronounced but i will put the names on the screen so that you'll be able to go chalet is very beautiful too i'm obsessed with smaller towns smaller cities and it's beautiful if you enjoy that you can go explore the food explore the drinks just explore the experience of it so i have i have not traveled to a lot of cities so other cities that i have not been to but i will definitely recommend is kaipeda palagala these are like the beach areas they have the beaches and stuff like that and it's always popping during summer when i see the content it will make you want to be there so go to that and i also have been seeing trakai also as somewhere you should go to i think that is beautiful so i'm gonna go finish my hair and then i'm gonna be answering more questions sit back relax stick a drink or two and listen to me i find brushing my hair so satisfying because oh, oh, there you go, please. okay so i think i'll also give my hair a trip because all the knots okay oh my god if you are ever going to ask me the tool that i would definitely recommend is this tangle teaser it has the top that it gets the top that like let me know the white to comb. Let me know the white to comb. <laughs> the tangle teaser, the tangle teaser, the tangle teaser, the tangle teaser is your girl. The tangle teaser is what you need. And if you've not had this before, I'm gonna remind you again. Always, 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 always the tangle hair. It's super wet, super wet, like drenched in water, drenched in moisture. And report back here. Report back to me and tell me your life has not changed. Report back to me. As you can see, the cults. So last time, as I was on my experimental method, experimental mode, I was like, I'm, 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 I'm on my wash and go to come with juicy, juicy cults. <sighs> Did you want game Nothing. It gave me nothing. It gave me not like it didn't even give me anything. It gave me nothing. It gave me crunchy hair for like one week that I've been putting off, but today I deal with it. So, so we're doing this. Okay, so on that one side, I have give it you guys a run. So I'm gonna do the other side when I'm quiet. You know, sometimes it's good to be quiet and not just yep, 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 like a rat. <laughs> anyway, it's coming all together. And listen, I went from looking like <laughs> to looking like <laughs> yeah. So this this transformation is gonna be legendary. Legendary. I think I blacked out too much because tell me why this hair took me the whole day. The whole day. Seriously. Somebody help me. Somebody help me. But anyway, it came out cute. It's a hairstyle I'm going to keep for a week or two. It is what it. Anyway, just me enjoying the hair with some YouTube show in the background. If you see one of your favorites, comment who you saw. But I love them. So I was watching this episode on the TMI channel and I loved it. I loved the topic around money because I'm trying to get my money situation <sighs> together. So I think I'm going to learn a thing or two from what they said in the conversation. A thousand years later, <laughs> I'm all fully transformed and whatnot. I'm going to continue answering some of the questions I got on my Instagram. Somebody asked me, what's been your biggest I did that moment so far that you reflect on as a reminder to keep? Last year, my biggest I did that moment was when my business got a grant from the Coca-Cola Foundation. 
courtesy of the women in africa that was really a big oh my god i can do it you know uh because at the moment when i was doing the program i was going through some personal struggles and it was just that was what kept me sane it's just the thought of i need this i need a win because i always want to win when i'm going through a hard period of time so every time i look back in my life when i'm going through a hard period of time i always remember that period where i got a grant for my business a business that has put me in rooms where i know i could be in but it just took me time for me to get out of my imposter syndrome so usually that is my i did that moment that is the moment i always 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 like i wish i could frame it up i think i will frame it up it was it was really really shocking surprising mesmerizing because i was competing among seven thousand entrepreneurs that are also wonderful and just being among the top 300 i think was really really also motivating and i'm also in there in another program courtesy of the women in africa and deloitte a mentorship program i always advise people to just be delusional about your dreams take the risk because you never know what will happen like there's always good things that can happen if you just are delusional enough. Delusion might translate to faith. You have to have faith in yourself. You have to have faith in your deity, your God, the universe. You have to have faith. You have to have crazy, crazy faith because nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. When I usually create my vision board, I always have crazy amount of faith knowing that there's nothing on that vision board that i cannot achieve but i have to be realistic anyway that's a video that's another video okay so moving on to the second question are you studying and working at the same time so to answer this question i am only studying right now i'm not working i wish i could work but i can't right now but I am the unemployed friend. That's why I am trying content creation. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And about studying abroad, I have a video about that. I will link it or it will appear on whichever side of the screen. But make sure you watch that on my advice for anybody who wants to move or study abroad. So... <laughs> So this last question so this last question i brought it up to my partner and we have been um, sitting on it <laughs> asking ourselves how best i will i could answer this question and i will just read the question okay with that and i will omit something <laughs> out of it so tell us about getting a genuine guy this dating apps don't really work so dating relationship <laughs> dating advice relationship advice i am not an expert i'm also new to this <laughs> but what i will tell you is if you've not healed from past relationships you have no business dating and dating apps are a waste of time but there are some people who have success so either just try give it a try but just not <clears throat> that's a waste of time okay and you will find a genuine guy or a genuine woman if you are also a genuine person and also write down the things in a person that you want and also be able to emulate those things that you want in a partner. Don't just be at home. 
mingle, 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 interact with people, talk to people, and sometimes love comes to you when you least expect it. I know that is cliche advice, but <laughs> it has worked for me. Sometimes when you least expect it is when love comes to you. Because sometimes the universe knows when it's the right time for you to be in a relationship, to have a partner, and you have to heal. Sometimes the traumas of our past relationship have a way of sabotaging our relationships, our present relationship. So you have to have some sort of healing in order to be able to navigate through your present relationships. And if you want me to talk about the transition of a toxic relationship to a healthy relationship, please leave a comment. This will be based on my experience. I am not a love guru. I am not a relationship coach. I'm not a dating coach. I'm just Brenda, who is in a healthy relationship. giving you dating experience based on her life but to get a genuine person you have to be a genuine person you have to know what you want and what you don't want personally i had before my current relationship i had a list of every little thing that I did not want in a relationship because life has shown me. Hey! Life has shown me Pepe. Life has shown me Shege. Life has. Life in many Tandika. Okay? But write down, write down the list. And if you are below the age of 25, do not, do not attack me, but you have no business dating because your critical thinking area. You see this forehead? You see this forehead? It carries knowledge. But it needed to get above 25 to know. To know what is best for my life. So if you're under 25, I don't know you have no business dating but if you if you feel like you want to date just date but just to to, to save me from trauma okay to save you from because uh, below the age of 25 you not you, you do not know what you want but after 25 right now after 25 if you're choosing the wrong partners that's so new. Because your critical thinking area is developed. Why are you choosing like... Anyway, let me not get emotional. Let me not get emotional. But write down a list of qualities that you want in a partner. That you also have. Okay? You cannot want a loving person and you yourself, you're not loving. Write down the things that you do not want. Please. Please. Do, I don't know. For me, it is important. Because do not tolerate some things. And do not lower your standards. Keep the standards high. Because somebody will meet them. Okay? But have realistic standards. Standards that you have also placed in your life. Okay? And make sure you go for therapy if you've not healed. Please do not bring your baggage into somebody's life. And then you also had them in the process. It is not right. Okay. So that is it. If you have any more questions, if I have said anything that does not sit well with you, please leave that in the comment section. I do not mean to be inappropriate. But this is just based on my experience, okay? My opinion and whatnot. 
so if you have any more questions make sure you leave them in the comment section you can also follow me on my other social media sites so that you can be able to have a channel to ask me questions and i wish you the best in in life in your dating life in your personal life in your healing journey in all aspects of your life i wish you well make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and that's it for today bye bye